This is a completion video of the Numicron wagon clock that I've been working on, specifically for Hydrolisk. With matching horse. I did a gold paint with a brown overspray, which gives it this nice deep color. For both the horse and the wagon. Like I showed in the previous video, the casting was actually pre-cut with a blank in it for the new Micron clock. And then I did the uh, the lampshade I reupholstered using this tablecloth I found at a church rummage sale which was almost identical fabric to what's on my other one with a little bit of stretch to it fairly loosely woven so that light can shine through uh, I didn't do the lampshade perfect but I think considering I did it I think it came out fabulous I'm gonna pull off the lampshade what I had to do with that is first I cut the cloth and I just tacked it with crazy glue and stretched it over the wire framework then I hand sewed with actually a copper wire fine copper wire I didn't have any string and the copper wire worked good and hemmed it into the thing so I could cinch down the ends and I think the uh, the rough stitching actually makes it look more authentic. And then using clear caulking, I re-glued on the original border, which was glued onto the original lampshade. And I think actually considering I did it myself, I think this lampshade came out fantastic. It was a little bit of a trick getting all the stretches to match so that it's even but in the end it came out quite good now for the clock I made my harp out of thick wire coat hanger same stuff I use on my belt buckles now on both of them it has a switch here which doesn't get used because the switch is down here to turn the big light on and off and on my models, I also add the uh, tube tester shorts, which are glowing orange neon, which give the clock a light illumination in the dark. This project intrigued me because the border around the clock was actually already cast into the wagon on this one and didn't require the body filling job the other wagon required. I know these were made by Present Company and they must have made several models. Here's the base plate with the old Penwood logo which I clear coated. Tapped and threaded the four holes right where they were marked. New power cord rubber grommet wagon new micron clock so I put the modern movement in that 930 and wanted the vintage numbers which look more appropriate in this cabinet I still have another frame, lampshade from the Smash Cron, which somebody recovered in a black fabric, which I may recover it and just hang on to it for a spare, because sometimes this wagon comes up on eBay with no cover. Wagon clock and matching horse. Now the horse was damaged. I got him for four bucks, 
and the legs were about to fall off and you can see the cracks a little bit still I didn't kill myself on this I just put rods in them and I filled them solid with epoxy resin but because the two front legs are pushed together they almost touch the horse is a little bit wobbly he tips over easily especially on this uh, this blanket which is protecting my stereo I keep covered all the time so it doesn't get scratched so there we are with our completed second wagon cron The Wagon Crons.